Hello everyone and welcome back to PhD and Productivity. If you're new here, my name is Kira and I'm a first year PhD student and on this channel I'm sharing different things about doing a PhD and staying productive and everything like that. Because where I'm living, Ireland, is currently under quarantine, it means I'm able to put out more videos at the moment because I don't have to commute to and from my university. So I'm trying to put out at least two or three videos a week. So if you'd like to see more videos on productivity, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded and I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing it really means so much to me I think we could get to 1000 subscribers soon enough which would be great because then we would have the community tab which we could interact on which would be really great but in this video I'm going to be sharing my planner setup for the month of April so this is an A4 dotted bullet journal and if you've seen some of my previous videos you'll know that I use this as my PhD research journal and then I do have a separate journal that I use for more personal things as well. So this is the calendar layout for this month. These squares are all sort of eight by eight and I like to do all of my planning in this bullet journal, but if you wanted to use any other kind of diary or if you wanted to do this sort of more online with Google Calendar or something, you could also do that. I just like having the visual representation and doing the sort of very basic artwork in it is a nice way to relax and unwind and like keep a good headspace throughout the studies so I do like doing this. The main sort of things I have going on this month are, as you will know from my most recent video which is my six month update and my next steps for the PhD, I'm working on the literature review and the, next, the first main chapter of the thesis as well as I have a pitch for a startup entrepreneurship workshop for the summer and I also I'm, will be meeting my research panel. So those are sort of the main things I've got coming up this month and I'm basically going to be finishing up with most of my classes as well. So this is the calendar layout and I just included a little quote here which is April is a promise that May is bound to keep. Obviously at the moment you know it's kind of a scary time but I think it's good to try and stay positive and try and make the most of the extra time at home whatever way makes the most sense for you. So that's what I'm trying to do by creating more content and trying to grow my media presence just so that I can improve my different transferable skills of you know scientific communication and public speaking and everything like that so that's kind of my main aim at the moment is to improve those skills and um, if you haven't seen a recent video where I showed this this is my way that I track transferable skills and these are all the ones that I feel are most important for my PhD but probably the first eight at least will be relevant to yours and this is how I track how I'm doing for those skills and the next steps and sort of the main ones that I'm working on at the moment will be all of these sort of lower ones so career management, um, entrepreneurship, teamwork, writing, public speaking, and media and scientific communication. So those are the sort of main ones that I'm working on at the moment. I have my next steps here, but if you want to just see it in more detail, I have a separate video on that if you want to see that. I also have a separate video just explaining the different transferable skills and you know why they're important and why you should be developing those as part of your PhD as well. So I'll have that linked for you down below as well. So moving on, I have this spread with my goals for the month and some sort of self-care activities or just general good health activities to be doing throughout the day. Though I usually don't include stuff like this in this journal just because I have a separate journal for more personal things, but I kind of felt that with the month that's in it and being home for the next month under quarantine, it means that I think it would be good to have some positivity in this research journal. So the goals that I set were to make a LinkedIn and an academic CV. So those are sort of my career management skill development then getting into the nova entrepreneurship bootcamp which is a thing in my university for creating a startup and you get to learn a lot about entrepreneurship which is really cool and then i'm going to be writing the lit review chapter of my thesis as well as meeting my rsdp and then for media and communication skill i have these goals for youtube of 1000 subscribers instagram 5000 followers and twitter 500 followers and they're very ambitious targets but i just think it's good to set your sights high and hope for the best and again to thank you everyone who has been supporting this so far i'm really really grateful and i'm hoping that you will continue to enjoy the content that i'm putting out then i have to complete an online course in scientific communication and complete the course that i'm currently taking in academic writing as well i have a web application that i'm developing as part of my phd for data collection so i need to get to a good stage with that 
and I would like to get my office at home set up as well. Down the bottom I just have this quote which is when it is obvious that a goal cannot be reached don't adjust the goals do adjust the action steps. I just thought that was nice to have just to, as a good reminder for if I'm struggling with any of them to just work on the steps that I'm taking to go towards them rather than trying to change the actual goals. And then over this side I just have some activities that I can do during the morning, afternoon and evening that would make it sort of a good day. And I think doing, rather than setting out a specific routine for every single day, I think it's better to just have a list of things that you can do that would make up your routine. So healthy breakfast, walking, meditating, coffee, audiobook, all of those things. If I was to do like three of these things and try and do one for mind, one for body, one for more organization stuff, then that would kind of make a good morning. And the same for these categories, afternoon and evening. If I do a couple of these things, that will definitely improve my day a lot. Like ideally I would do try and do all of these things or at least most of them. And then it would mean that my day is well balanced. But even just aiming to do a couple is better than giving yourself a list of a ton of things to do and then not doing any of them. So if you're struggling with for forming a routine at the moment I'd say just try and focus on doing a couple of good things for yourself every day and maybe make something similar like this for yourself and if you have any extra things that I should add into these let me know in the comments below because there's definitely still some room and it would be good to have some tips from you guys and then I also have this very freehand planning page so for the entrepreneurship bootcamp we have to do a pitch for our startup and these are the four questions that they want us to answer so I want us to clearly define the problem that we are solving, explain how our product or service is better than the current ones, introduce the team and what makes us a good team, talk about why we want to come onto the program. So I guess the main reason for that is that it's a great transferable skill, especially for PhD students to be able to develop a product and everything like that. So I do think it will be a very, very good way to develop the entrepreneurship and innovation transferable skills. So I'm really looking forward to the program if we do get in, but it's, it's still gonna be exciting to be developing the pitch. I think that would still be, be a good development of the skill too. And then for meeting my ORSDB, which is the research studies doctoral panel, um, development panel. There's a few different categories of just points that I want to include so I'm just brainstorming on this page basically about me, about my program because my program is a bit different to other programs and it'll be good to just make sure that everyone on the panel is aware of that. My research goals and the kind of work that we want to be doing, the work that I've done so far as well as the next steps. So these are fairly like chill planning kind of areas, it just gives me a good place to jot down all my ideas before doing up the actual slides and everything. And then lastly I just have my my first weekly spread. This hasn't really changed too much um, since last month because I really enjoyed the way that the spread works so far. So I basically have this sort of timeline here for time blocking and I actually let this go on till 10 or 11 because just to make sure that I'm including some nice evening activities. Again, usually I wouldn't put this in this journal, but I think I'm mainly going to be using this one this month. So that's why I decided to just include more time if I want to. And then I have an area for to do's and then I can mark off which day they got done or which day I intend to do them. And then over here I have my Pomodoro garden and this basically is a place to track my productivity throughout the day. So Pomodoro method generally is you do 25 minutes on, five minutes off and then repeat until maybe three or four Pomodoro sessions are complete and then you can take a longer break. And there's pretty good timers online if you wanted to do something like that that will give you a notification when the time is up. But then basically once I've finished each 25 minute block I would draw a little bit of a doodle and then after four pomodoros are up it forms its own little picture of like a tree or a plant and then this kind of dots up there and then I can see sort of how my whole week has come together as a productive week and then for the wins this is just where I track all the little things that have contributed to any small successes throughout the week because even if you're working on some tasks and it's not going particularly well usually you'll have learned something out of it so it's good to track that because it'll keep you motivated even when things are a bit more difficult so basically once i have a little win that has helped sort of make me feel more motivated i'll fill those in in these little circles which are kind of like coins and then i also just have this area for the weekly summary which is just so that i can keep track of everything that i've done because even only being about six months into the phd it's still it's really hard to remember what you've done a couple months back so having this area to write that down and be able to look back at it has been really helpful so far so i highly recommend that you will be tracking that somewhere whether that's in a journal or in a word like a typed up document or something like that I do think it's a good thing to be doing. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed the spreads and 
that you'll find them useful or if you have any suggestions for other spreads let me know in the comments below because that would be very handy to add those things in as i said i will be doing more videos than normal so it'd be great if you guys would subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it gives me a great boost in the algorithm and that really helps me out so thank you all so much and i will see you in the next video